Welcome to my new series of videos which are all about Conical. This time we're gonna split measures with it. In this series, I'd like to present some very common rhythms, grooves and bass lines. And I'm going to show you how to translate them, sort of encode them, into conical. In this first lesson, I'm going to introduce my whole splitting concept. So this lesson will be a fairly comprehensive one and probably a bit long. But hang on, it'll pay off in the end. Because lesson by lesson we move towards more complex rhythms and more sophisticated ways of splitting measures. In this series I am playing double bass, but you can play all the exercises on electric bass as well. Or if you're not a bass player, you can adapt it to your own instrument. Have a look at my introduction to conical and the syllables that I'm using. It can be summed up briefly as follows. For every number, I'm using a specific word taken from conical. For example, a group of two notes is taka. A group of three notes, takite. Please excuse me if I'm spelling some of the conical syllables slightly differently. But I'd like to share my personal approach to conical with you, so I'm using my own vocabulary. Secondly, please have a look at my video on flaws of rhythm. I call the rhythmic levels flaws. On floor number two, for example, we divide every beat into two divisions. On floor number three, into three, and so on. Today, we're gonna to split a four four measure. To be precise, we're going to split it on floor number two, that is the eighth note subdivision level. There are only a few possible splits here. One to seven, two to six, three to five, four to four, and their inversions. Let's ignore those who fall on downbeats and focus on the syncopated ones. There are only two left, one to seven, and three to five. Well, one to seven doesn't sound like a measure split into two parts. But three to five does. What's more, three to five is one of the most common splits, regardless of the genre of music. That's why some people call it universal rhythm or the classic rhythm. You'll have to master this one, and that is why we focus on this kind of split in this episode almost exclusively. 3 to 5 can be further analyzed as 3-3-2, three, three, splitting the 5. Its inversion is 5 to 3, which can be analyzed as 2-3-3. Three, three. The third possible way to arrange these numbers is 3-2-3, three, three, which can be seen either as 3 to 5 or 5 to 3, depending on the harmonic or melodic context you're using. Now our next step is where the magic happens. We replace the numbers with their corresponding conical words. So 3 is replaced with takite, and 2 is encoded into a taka. It's that simple. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, we're using our rhythm language. And every split, any combination of numbers in general, is a specific sentence in this language.
3 to 5 is a very nice proportion. And that is why it's such a common way of splitting a 4-4 measure. In fact, it's a proportion which is very close to the so-called golden section, which is regarded as well-balanced or beautiful. I'll give you another musical example of the golden section in one of my future episodes. For today, that's more than enough. Feel free to leave a comment if you can name any song or piece of music that features a 3 to 5 split. I'm sure there'll be plenty of them. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. See you next time. All the best. Music